okay let's see how to set up the first test ng project along with test ng installation to start with go to the help section of eclipse click on install new softwares here at the top right add button click on it then just type test ng here and then put this path this path will be provided in the comment section of this video and say add select this and just say next uh, it is very self-explanatory so you can go on installing test ng in your machine i've already installed it so i'm not installing it now post uh, test ng is installed in your machine is create a java project give any name to your project and then say finish will create a java project with source and jre system library files post that under source you can create a new package under the package you can create a test ng class so right click on source say new and then say others here you select test ng class say next next and then it will create a class for you post that you can put some simple code into it i have just given some system out print lens just to see every portion of the test is uh, accessed or we have gone through every section of the test post that what you do is right click on the project then say new and create file here you have to create the testng.xml so you can name it like testng.xml I'm not creating it because I have already created this in my project so probably you can copy paste some code like this testng.xml is created to let the system know that this is a testng project and second and, uh, to group your test cases into test suites or te test groups accordingly once this is done what you can do is right click on the testng.xml and then say run as and then say testng suite which is already configured i'm not configuring it again so if you see the results it has browsed through each section of my code the first section prints out before test next hello first test done and then after test so all sections all annotations are visited and then you can even there is a test output folder which will get created post your execution you can see the results in the dot html uh, the emailable report html which is created is open it with some web browser and see what has happened one test case is failed this i have made it to fail because you can see here here i have put an assertion which says asset equals to 8 and 9 so this resulted in a failure so you see that one test case run one failure zero scripts this is how you can configure your test ng framework next video we'll talk about test ng with selenium thanks for watching